All right. Now, what we're doing is it is nine on the spot, breaking from the box. It is call shot. Everything is call pocket, basically. Sorry, not call shot, call pocket. Uh, every ball must be called. Nine ball. There is no such thing as an early nine. The nine ball will be the last ball made. Uh, three foul rule is in effect. Jump cues are allowed. That was Kaysen that just shot. Yeah, I got a notification that I'm live. Hey, Dennis, if you're still in here, uh, good luck with your matches. Okay, jump shot here. Nice shot. Let me write that one down. All right, looks like he's going to cut it here. Now, they can call combos. Now, that is not an early win. That nine will be spotted. And in terms of that, a ball was made after a legal hit. Your opponent automatically gets to come in, or they have the choice that if you're hooked, you can give it back to the player that did it. The original shooter. And the bracket is, that's the link to the bracket. It has not been activated. Once they activate it, we will um, you'll be able to see the bracket. We got 61 players, I was told. All right, I am linking up a bracket, uh, looking up some other stuff. Hey, Albert, how you doing? Okay, so Joseph's got ball in hand here. He's going to roll it up for the five ball here. He'll be able to pop it back if he rolls up enough. Take the six in the bottom side after the five, or he can just come back around and take it to the top corner. Uh, these two players are from the lower bracket. We started off with the lower black bracket today. We've got 61 players, like I said. Play a safe. Okay, Joseph does jump, as y'all saw earlier.
All right, jump cue is out. Hey, how much background noise can y'all hear? Nice jump. Going to get back on it. Okay, now he can combo this nine, but it won't be for a win. He'll just be able to keep shooting. All right, Kaysen's coming back to the table. None. All right, cool. Yes. All right, I am situ still getting situated, everyone. Oh, gonna leave a good, some decent leave here, and yeah, no, nothing, you know, no doubt. Hey, we do want to thank everyone for joining us. He could go for the reverse bank here. Come back around three rails for the nine. Well, looks like he's just going to go for a safe. He's going to leave it for him. Uh, the number in parentheses is what they're racing to, everyone. Hey, Jaden, how you doing? All right, he gave himself a long shot on that nine. Yeah, he needs to move the template out of the way. Thank you all y'all for joining us today. We finally got started. I'll give y'all all the stats here a little bit later with everything else. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep refreshing the tournament bracket periodically and see when it goes live. Uh, we are running on eight foot diamond tables today. I need to go back. I was looking at my phone when the nine ball was. Jason got that one. Hey, Russell, how you doing?
All right. Well, this is game two. This is Joseph shooting. I think he's just going to tap this in and take the two going back the other way. Oh, went a little bit more than I thought he would. But he'll be able to be fine. He'll take this down the rail and knock the cue ball towards the center of the table. Take the three in the same pocket. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? Appreciate it. Hey, Paul. Uh, it's allowed. Yeah, they're allowed to wear earbuds while they're playing here in this, in this tour. I know some places they don't allow it, but this one does. All right, and this is Joseph at the table. Now that three is in an interesting spot. He's going to have to get back. No, is he going to find the window? I think he overrolled it. From the look, he's got, yep, he overrolled it. Now the three foul is, rule is in effect, so you, it's worth going for the three foul. I've done that too, Russell, in really loud places. Hey, Clayton, how you doing today? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, league is, I know at leagues I've played in, you're not allowed to at all, but uh, this is a, an actual tournament tour. Uh, it's a 12-stop tour, and it is allowed. Oh, yeah, no, I completely understand, Paul, because some of the tours we go to uh, are tournaments. They're not allowed at all. It's just kind of like the tournament director's preference. Yes, Russell. They're doing real good. Uh, shorts. For some reason, the shorts are acting weird on YouTube lately. I post them, and I'm not getting views until, like, days later. On some of them. It's really weird. It's like they're redoing the algorithm on the shorts. But yeah, I'll get I'll get with you on that. Something about the editing, when you're sending it to me, it's nine sixteen, but it's coming in four five. All right, so Smitty got that one. So it makes it one one. Now Joseph has to go to six. Kaysen has to go to I mean to four. I'm not sure, are you editing it on your mobile phone or how you're doing it or how you're clipping it? Hey, Pops, how you doing? All right. Oh, okay. Well, welcome. It's expensive to play. Damn. Well, if you can pull a full four five, 
because it's not opening up the full four five. It, it clips it at nine sixteenths, but it's in a four five window. It's kind of weird. All I do is put it in my editor and just expand it to nine, and it'll clip off the extra stuff. Um, pops, it's from what I understand. Full haul, we opened at 9.30. Well, I get in here at 8.30. They get everything open and ready because it's, it's Friday's a busy night. Players get in at 9.30. They got to sign everyone up That's and finish the sign-in stuff, double-check Fargo's. The auction takes two hours at minimum by itself. They're trying to find ways to get it sooner, but it haven't accomplished it. But they have got 61 players today instead of the full 64. They had a couple of dropout uh, medical reasons. I know two of them were medical reasons. No, sorry, three of them were medical reasons. Hi, Stephanie. I will when uh, we're not on, in a match. Uh, usually between the matches, I'll do a 360. We need to do something with the banner. What time do you come in, Stephanie? Oh, yeah, Russell. It'll take you some time. Uh, We'll get it where, where you're nailing them perfect. Just give it some time. It is, but we're also running the tournament on only eight tables, too. Hey, not a problem, Russell. We'll be here all day long. Nice shot there. By Kaysen. You go in at six? Okay. Well, I will definitely be here. But FYI, Lisa's not here. She's in California, so there's no suite. So don't take it out on me. All right, the ball in hand here. I'm gonna pop it up for the six. Um, I just draw this thing back with a little bit of bottom right. Oh, he ended up popping it right into that nine. Yeah, he's going to switch hands on this one. Uh, I'm not sure if that was just a really bad miss or if he was trying to play six. I think it was a miss. Okay, Joseph should be able to see this seven ball. Uh, this tournament, everyone, they started off with the low bracket. This is a split bracket. They take the top 32 and then the bottom 32 and literally split them up. 
So two people in the low bracket are always in the money, and two people in the upper bracket are always in the money. And then they intermix after that, you know, on the one loss side, if I remember right. They may not. Okay, so Joseph got that one. Okay, Joseph's going to be the gym to the closest side. All right, while he's racking real quick, we are at the third stop of the 210 Nine Ball Tour. This happens to be St. Patrick's Day weekend. Uh, you can see a list of the sponsors on the left. There are more here. They're in a slideshow on the screen. They gained a, a few more uh, sponsors. And you can see there's a, there's a tour stop every month. Now, in December, in order to qualify for that one, you have to have at least played in four of the other. And as you can see here, he is, nine is on the spot, one in the front, two in the back. If you're not used to it, it does make it interesting. All right, uh, it do, it doesn't split based on Fargo a specific Fargo level. Um, they take all the sixty four. Say if, if full bracket is sixty four, it is. You have to pay ahead of time to lock in your spot. So they take them thir uh, 64, and whoever the highest 32 is, they go in the top. The lowest 32 go in the bottom. Or they may have swapped. So you don't have a, like, if you have a lot of low players, some of them might end up in the higher bracket. Like in today's turnout, we have one that is racing with seven in the lower bracket. Because he ended up in the Calcutta or the auction. Or the so it's just hit and miss based on whatever players sign up. Uh, the highest Fargo rate we have here today is a 765. Michael Schneider is in from. Now, he's the only one that's racing to 10. We got several that are racing to 9. Back to the paper over here. Let's see if I can see it. All right, Paul, hey, thanks for joining us. You have a great evening. Okay, I've got a full list of the players here. Um, there Actually, there's only two other going to nine. Um, but we got a bunch going to eight. Yeah, we got uh, Billy Dyke is in town. Justin Espinosa came into town. Um, then we've got a bunch that are like 680s and 690s. They're all going to 8. All right, and you can see they're, they're breaking from the box. And they have to use break uh, They Every game must be lagged, or every match must have a lag at the beginning. So 
So uh, as they put it, is based on the whole entire format of the tournament is based on skill. Yeah. Um, let me pull up Joseph, and I'll tell you. Um, yeah, Joseph's a five fifty-three according to what they have down. Yeah, and he's in the lower bracket. The lower bracket cut off at five eighty-one this turn. Yeah, there's a lot of great players that showed up in town. There's a few of them that didn't weren't able to show up because of medical issues that had were gonna to were going to as well. They had a few people that notified them last night of emergencies. Then we had one emergency this morning uh, while he was here. Oh, nice mass say there. Can you see it? He went to the bank. I remember he's actually calling these shots. <clears throat> Okay, he's going to leave a great shot here for Joseph. Yeah, they might be using the Fargo based on digital pool. Oh, nice little pop there. Okay, I am sharing on social media, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Give me a little bit and I'll Oh, you tried to pop it and force it. Diamonds don't always like that. Oh, he missed it. All right, so Joseph gets that one, so he's up three. Okay, and next weekend, I will be in Spring, Texas, which is just north of Houston, for the next stop of the Infinity Ladies Tour. It is the oldest running women's tour in the nation. It's changed title sponsors and names over the years, but it's still the same tour, same tour. Okay, let me move you back, Joseph. Get a break. And I'll be there all live all weekend.
Oh, one on the side. Nice break. Sharp shot on the two. He can see the two, but he might be able to bank with it. The three is on the left-hand bottom. He's calling the bank. Oh, great try. Hmm? What? Is it live? Sorry, everyone. I had to go. The bracket is live now. Uh, Stacy was letting me know that she just made it live. So that link at the top of the chat is the live bracket. Yeah, he's just going to roll it down a little bit. He definitely does not want it straight. He's going to make it enough. Oh, he didn't get, he's got a little bit of an angle, but not much at all. Hey, Jazer, how are you doing today? Oh, no, Russell, you don't want that. All right, I just finished my last taco, everybody. Okay, let me get everything back situated here. All right, nice shot on the nine ball. So Joseph goes up to four. All right, I'm going to let you all watch him rack real quick. I will be right back. I need to get a refill of a Coke. And I'll be sitting with y'all. All right.
All right, everybody, I am back. All right. So basically the rules for this one, it's 10 ball rules playing with nine ball. You get by it. I'm not sure. The five might go by the nine and the eight. Oh, no, nope. he's just going to try hiding it back there. Okay, so Kaysen's coming back to the table. Now, uh, Kaysen's Fargo's a 382. Uh, Joseph's is a 553. Hey, Halas, how are you doing? Now, these are the numbers that are in digital pool. The Fargo rate app, I notice, sometimes is not the same. Oh, he lost it. Okay, so Joseph's got ball in hand. Yeah, he's got a good shot on this eight ball. Side word pocket. He wants to take that nine in. Yep. Keep it simple. Come back to the half uh, side pocket. Okay, with that one, put Joseph on the hill. Uh, they are still calculating the auction amount, so I'll get that to you. Uh, when they put get the payout total payouts, I will get that to you as well. But if you do want to see the bracket, it is pinned to the top of the chat uh, using digital full bracket. Oh, he's going to leave the one in the pocket. Uh, I think he can come off the top top long rail and get into this. I don't think he can go by the two and hit it straight on. Oh, okay. I was wrong. He put a lot of power behind it. He didn't need that much. Uh, but he still can see the two ball. Hey, congratulations, Russell. Get a good tournament then.
Hey, everyone, if y'all could hit that thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. Oh, he put himself in an interesting position. Let's see if he can get back for the seven ball. Oh, he went for the curve shot. Nice. Oh, he got the great position, but didn't get the ball. Yeah, he is hitting good today. Uh, he's. Oh, nice try by Kaysen. Hey, just want to double check. Y'all cannot hear any music in the background, right? Yeah, it happens. But, but that was that's not an easy kick. Oh, let's see. This eight ball is right on the rail. He's looking at it. It looks like it's a little bit past the point. So he should be fine. Just don't draw it back into it. Oh, nice. All right, with that one, Joseph takes the win.